Today I'm going to try to use cake to show you how caves, arches and stacks form. Here is a lovely scene in Cyprus where it's possible to see caves in the rock over here. Here there are cracks and the bit of rock standing on its own in the middle of the sea is a stack. A cave is a hollow within a cliff, an arch is a natural opening eroded out of a cliff and a stack is a column of rock standing in the sea. In this video the cake represents the land and the towel underneath represents the sea. This is a bay, this is a bay, this piece of cake is a headland sticking out into the sea and this is another headland sticking out into the sea. Now there is no reason at all why waves should be coming towards the coastline perpendicular uh, 90 degrees from this direction. They might well be coming from the side and crashing into this headland from the side. The rest of this video will show you what happens if the waves are coming sideways, crashing into this headland. So, the waves are coming this way and crashing into this piece of headland. As they come along and crash, they'll be about the height of my finger. They're not massive waves, they're not up to this height. They're just crashing into the base of the cliff. And they're doing their erosion through hydraulic action and abrasion. So imagine the knife I'm holding is the waves. Along come the waves and they will attack this part at the base of the cliff and they'll form cracks within the cliffs like so. These cracks will deepen and widen into caves and all a cave is is a hollow that is there in the base of the cliff. Now there is a cave and again it's the repeated processes of hydraulic action and abrasion that have eroded away that cave. Repeated erosion of this cliff, of this um, headland, will open up the cave, make it deeper and deeper until you've got quite a deep cave there stretching through the headland. Now what can happen is the cave could be punctured back, eroded backwards through hydraulic action and abrasion and it could go all the way through the headland to the other side. So I'll just see if my cake is strong enough to puncture through all the way to the other side of the headland. Erosion has now penetrated all the way through the headland to the other side creating that hole that you can see going all the way through the cake and this shape here is an arch. So, so far our erosion has taken us from a crack to a cave to this arch. Repeated erosion will make the legs of the arch wider because that is where the waves are crashing into the headland and again, I'll say the process is again, hydraulic action and abrasion are making the arch legs wider. At the same time, weathering processes will be attacking this roof of the arch. Um, processes such as frost action, um, freeze-thaw weathering will be making the arch roof much, much thinner. Now this process will continue continue, continue, leaving the roof of the arch more unsupported um, and eventually this roof of the arch is going to collapse. So I'll just keep cutting away through erosion processes, I'll keep weathering away at the roof of the arch until we get the inevitable collapse. At this stage you can see we've got a really large arch that's formed we're still waiting for this roof collapse. So eventually the roof of the arch has collapsed leaving this piece of rock standing out on its own and this is known as a stack. 